Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Galatians 2.20 is going to get up on the screen. And uh, I'm going to ask y'all to, to read this with me. And we're going to open up in prayer. Amen. Y'all excited to say amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. Listen, God is on your side. Hallelujah. Can you say it with God is on my side. Amen. How many of you believe that? Hallelujah. How many of you believe that? That God is on your side. That God is head over heels and love of you. It's all because of Lord Jesus Christ. It does not matter how you came in this morning. It doesn't matter this morning. I believe and declare through the blood of Lord Jesus Christ that when you leave, hallelujah, Holy Spirit will get such a hold of you. Hallelujah. 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 So pray this morning. We're going to read uh, Galatians 2.20. Holy Spirit said he wants to hear us together as one body, Lord Jesus Christ. Unified in Holy Spirit. Now, what do you mean, Pastor Joy, by unified in Holy Spirit? Who is our God? We love to say here at Open Arms Free Church. Agape! Amen, Agape, right? Who is Agape? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Who, who is the only way to the Father? Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, when you make your way to the Father, who does Father God seal you with? Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Where does Holy Spirit live? Oh, come on, give me God, give me God praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Ain't, ain't nobody can touch that. Come on. Come on now, can I say that? Amen. Praise Amen. God. Listen, some, some of y'all, I know you're in a good mood. I know you're blessed. I know God is on your side. You're never going to go to hell. You're never separated Woo. from the Father. Come on. Come on. But some of y'all need to tell your face that. <laughs> come on. Come on. I ain't going to look at nobody now. Come on. Come on. Amen. 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 <laughs> you ever have somebody look so crunchy, you start feeling bad? Come on. That happened to me at Walmart the other day. <laughs> Seriously, and I had to ask God for forgiveness Amen. because I don't judge nobody, right? Amen. But sometimes you come across, maybe it's family members. Maybe it's, maybe, maybe you got crunchiness on you that you need to give to God today. Amen. Amen. But it got to the point where I started feeling so crunchy next to this person, and Holy Spirit said, I died for that soul. Right? God said, I died for that soul. And right away I just said, Father, thank you. And guess what? I just started speaking out loud. Father, thank you that you love me. Right? And I tell you right now, this person looks like this. Amen. You know why? In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There's no greater name than the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Say his name, Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, God is head over heels and love So let's read this together. Praise God as we get started. Amen. I have been crucified with Christ. And I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Give God praise. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Our worship service this morning is titled Inheritance Impartation. And these are all the scriptures that we're going through. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I only got three hours now. Woo! Praise God. Amen. Praise God. I got nothing going on. I love you guys. <laughs> Don't enable me, please. All the elders are like, oh my goodness, we've got to have a meeting again. <laughs> all right? I only got three hours. But as you notice, we highlighted in, in uh, yellow, Galatians, because Holy Spirit wants us to be in Galatians. However, in worship yesterday this, and last night this morning, for this worship service, Holy Spirit said we're also going to break away momentarily from Galatians to get into as far as how Lord Jesus Christ wants to be glorified. Amen? Amen. Say this with me, through me. Through me. You see, the beauty of our God, Agape, is that we have these preconceived notions of how to glorify God. You see, as a pastor, I can think, if I limit God, that the only way I glorify Him 
is through preaching. Rebuke that. Amen. Every one of us is gifted and anointed to preach. Amen. You see, religion puts a pulpit. But see, God is at the pulpit of our heart. Amen. His name is Holy Spirit. Amen. So as a, so as a pastor, bottom line is, I am held accountable through Lord Jesus Christ to worship God. I try to in every breath. And in the breaths that I allow to take place without giving thanks, guess what I do? I repent. Father, forgive me. Forgive me that I'm acting like I'm purposely keeping this life alive. Come on. Amen. Forgive me, Father, for acting like I woke up on purpose today. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now, some of y'all need to hear this now. Hallelujah. Forgive me for acting like I was born this pretty. <laughs> Come on. Amen. It's all because of him. Hallelujah. <laughs> Say it with me. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. Say it with me. I am healthy. I am Say it with me. I am blessed. I am Say it with me. I am a child of God. I am God. Say it with me. I am eternal. I am Say it with me. I am a saint. I am Say it with me. I am victorious. I am Say it with me. I am an overcomer. I am Say it with me. I am Thinking 
that there's a curse in their life. Whether it was in their upbringing, maybe they had an abusive parent, maybe something tormenting took place in their life, right? Maybe something sexually, right? Something hurt them. And guess what? It was from that experience as a little child, it just kept on building up on the inside. And see, and that's what the devil wants. The devil doesn't want you to just open it up and say, Lord Jesus, take it. Right? The devil wants you to hold on to something bad, horrible, and let you just keep thinking about it. Right? And see, it's those thoughts that we have, those previous things that took place in our life, that allows the enemy to put oppression and strongholds. Because that transgression that took place becomes our identity. I've heard for so long in my life, you'll never amount to nothing. You'll never amount to nothing. You're just a gay man. You've done so many horrible things. You've done drugs. You're addicted. You hear these things, and guess what? After you hear it for long, what happens? You start to believe it. Right? And when you start to believe it, this is where God says, say it with me, church, no more. No more. You see, before we move on to the inheritance, we have to understand this. There has to be a death. Can I get an amen? amen. You can't inherit nothing from me if I left, if, if I left you a last will and testament by the grace of God, Holy Spirit, bless me with this. Wisdom, life-changing revelation through my beloved wife Trish yesterday. Holy Spirit said, you know what? Rather than just racking your brains, trying to understand this, talk to Trish. And I said, okay, Lord. <laughs> Come on. Trish! <laughs> it's just that simple, that quick. God told me to talk to you. She said, she sat down, okay, what is it? Explain to me inheritance. And this is what Trish told me. Trish said, well... My mom and dad one day told me that they wanted me to go around the house and write my name on a post-it and put it on things. And Trish goes, why would I do that? And her mom said, because when I go, I want to know what to leave in my last will and testament for you to have. I want to make sure you have it. And of course, you know Trish. Trish is like, you don't need to worry about that. We're going to be raptured out of here. Hey. 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 You don't need to worry about it. And guess what? She didn't. She didn't write anything on a post-it. She didn't, she didn't claim nothing. Praise God. It's going to all stay here. <laughs> Hallelujah. Some of us need just, just to laugh about that. Amen. It's just all going to stay here. Praise God. And then her dad said something that, that, that carried a lot of weight. Her dad said, if there's anything that you want from me, you need to let me know now because I have to write it out in the last will and test testament, right? And of course, Trish echoed the same thing she said to her mother. Dad, you don't need to worry about that. We're going to be wrapped up. Amen? Now, I know some of you are like, well, Brother Joey, that's pretty simple. I, I understand it. But guess what? As a, as a God, I needed to hear that. Because guess what? I don't have that person physically. I have Father God, amen, that gave me a, the greatest inheritance. Hallelujah. Amen. But it, it was in this moment of, of conversation and worship that God said, there's a lot of blessings, there's a lot of inheritance that's left on the table that my children need to know. I left them. And I want you to leave here today, not only with all the blessings of the Lord that you can possibly take with you, but I want you to be in the overflow of His presence in your life. Amen? Amen? So in order for, for, in order for us to understand this, in order for the will to take effect, there has to be a death. Can I get an amen? amen. Say it with me, I am redeemed. I am redeemed. Now when you say that, hallelujah, only God knows your heart right now. Amen. I pray in Jesus' name that every one of y'all have received Lord Jesus Christ, that you call Lord Jesus Christ in your life, that you ask God to save you. However you prayed, it was a perfect prayer. Amen. amen. It doesn't matter how old you are. You can be any giddy. Amen. Or you can be grown up. But I pray in Jesus' name that you call the Lord Jesus Christ for this inheritance. Now to understand this inheritance, we have to understand this one thing. And I need you to understand this and say it with me. Jesus Christ.
Christ, Jesus Christ died, died for, me. for me. See, one thing is, it's amazing to me. It's amazing to me. It's amazing to me that I come across children of God, but you can't grasp this absolute life-changing revelation that God sent His Son to die for you. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? I think far too often we get so concerned about the whole world, about everybody else. This has to be personal for you. Did God die for you? Yeah. Amen? Did God die for you? We're going to go back in Deuteronomy. It's the fifth book Moses wrote. And this was part of the law. Check this out. You must not leave the body hanging on the pole overnight. Be sure to bury it the same day. Because anyone who is hung on a pole is under God. Say that word with me. Curse. You must not desecrate the land the Lord your God has given you as, say this word with me, inheritance. inheritance. How does this apply, Brother Joey, as far as our worship today? You see, when Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross, believe it or not, even as a preacher, as a pastor, whatever label you give me, whatever Holy Spirit, our relationship, I'm going to tell you this. We have no clue. We have no clue the magnitude in what Lord Jesus Christ did for us. Amen. We're so simple-minded that we take Jesus and we say, Okay, you died for me. Hallelujah. I'm saved, born again, and I have eternal life. Which is the truth, right? We have that. But we have no idea, truly, what Lord Jesus Christ did for us. Because you have to think about Lord Jesus Christ in all of His glory. May I ask you, did Lord Jesus Christ do anything wrong? No. Did He judge anybody? Did He tell people that you're too dirty, you can't come close to me? No. Amen. Did He look at what people were struggling with and go, I can't touch you? No. Did he only heal certain people? No. no. You see, Lord Jesus Christ is absolutely perfect. Amen. Amen. But look at what God did. God was what he did when he said, now that everything is completed, son, you have to take on your body Everybody's shortcoming. You have to become the curse. You see, Holy Spirit right now, as serious as we are right now in worship, Holy Spirit is so happy. Because there's some of you right now where your heart got a little broken. There's some of you right now where a light is shining through your life. You see, the abuse, the addiction, the anger, the hatred, the unforgiveness, the rebellion, Lord Jesus Christ took it. And He said, I'm going to take it so that you are going to be innocent. And that you can live this life victoriously knowing your true identity. That I am forgiven. That I am redeemed. That I am a beloved child of God and my God loves me. Amen. You see, this goes past. Hallelujah. Say it goes past. This goes past religion. I rebuke you. Amen. This is a relationship with the living God. And see, right now, Holy Spirit in you. See, there's some of you right now going, Brother Joey. I've received Lord Jesus Christ. Man, you keep talking about Holy Spirit. But I grew up in a religion where Holy Spirit was kind of like, eh. That's right. I'm going to tell you right now, rebuke all that. God saved you, where now you know. Amen. 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 
Say with me, now I know. Praise God. Galatians 3, verse 14. He redeemed us in order that the blessing given to Abraham might come to the Gentiles. Hallelujah. So we're going to go back. Amen. How far back? Wait a We're going to go back to Genesis 15, verse 5. This is God speaking to Abraham now. Amen. And he brought him forth abroad and said, look now toward heaven. And tell the stars if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, so shall thy, say that word with me, seed be. Notice that it's just one seed. Right? It's not plenty of seeds, one seed. Ask me, who's that seed? Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ. Now you need to keep in mind that in this scripture, in Genesis 15, seven chapters later, in chapter 22, if you start, let's go ahead and say verse 10, there was a test because called into the ministry at the age, the young age of age 70. He was 70 years old. Some like to say 75, 77. Amen. <laughs> I mean, you can ask me. I rode out 30 as long as I possibly could. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> to, to, to my 40th birthday. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm 40. <laughs> Abraham. Abraham is known in the Bible as the father of our faith. At the age of 75, he had no children. At the age of 75, he was just kind of like, okay, Lord, whatever you want. Let me ask you this. How much conviction does that bring upon you when you think that, oh Lord, you ever going to use me? Come on. You are never too old or too young to be used by God Almighty. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. All God is looking for, and this is what the Father does. All He does, He's a good and perfect Father. That's it. Brother Charlie just did it. Oh, there you go. Brother PJ just did it. All God is looking for, come on. Come on, brother. All God is looking, come on, sis, is, are you willing? Amen. Amen. I love it because when God called on Abraham, 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 he goes, here I am. Amen. You know that that goes for all of eternity? Here I am. Can y'all say that with me? Here I am. Here I am. You see, God right now, man, son, you got an anointing on you, praise God. Yeah, don't be looking around. I'm talking about that. Gosh, I love you. You and I are like this. He said, yeah, brother, praise God. The anointing is over your whole family, amen? And I tell you this because God just wants to hear your heart say, here I am. Will you allow God to use you? Amen. Hallelujah. And I love this because he says, from this seed, look up at the stars, Abraham. How many of you have seen a bunch of stars in the sky? Amen. Have you ever seen a Have you ever seen a, a sky, a clear sky, where there's so many stars we can't even count? Amen. Ain't that beautiful? And I want you to imagine this moment with God, our Father, speaking to His Son, who is 75 years old, that ain't got no children, but yet He's saying, "Look up at the sky, Amen. and if you can go ahead and count, far greater." is going to be your number of children. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So in the name of Jesus, I want to charge you, church, that here it is. Can you believe it? We're already in June. Come on. Where did this whole year go, right? Come on. We're already in June, 2020. And I'm going to ask you to do the same thing tonight. I'm going to ask you to do the same thing tonight because our God is the same God. Amen. Amen. For those of you who want to, some of you are looking forward to it. Tonight, I want you to go outside and look up at the sky. And I want you to try to count the stars. And I need you to know in the name of Lord Jesus Christ that the blessings God has lined out for you is far greater than what you can see. Amen. Amen. Do you believe that in Jesus' name? Hallelujah. Do you believe it? I believe it. Hallelujah. I believe it. I, I, I choose to believe that in Jesus' name. Amen. So shall thy seed be, who is Lord Jesus Christ. So let's continue on verse 14. He redeemed us. Who redeemed us? Lord Jesus. 
in order that the blessing given to Abraham might come to the Gentiles. Who are the Gentiles? Us, right? It's through this seed, his name is Lord Jesus Christ, that God made a way through the only way. His name is? Lord Jesus Christ. John 14, 6, right? Lord Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. Anyone who comes to the Father must go through Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. Glory to God. In order that the blessing given to Abraham might come to the Gentiles. And then, so let's go ahead and discuss this. Through Christ Jesus. So that by faith we might receive the promise of the Spirit. Say His name for me. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Amen. The question that I have for every one of you. Have you received the promised gift of God? Amen. 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 Beloved church family, this is serious now. Because if you don't have the promised Holy Spirit, the bottom line is you're not getting raptured out of here. So I'm going to ask again. Do you have the promised Holy Spirit living on the inside? Brothers and sisters, let me take an example of life. Just as no one can set aside or add to a human covenant that has been duly established, so it is in this case. We just discussed what we were talking about earlier, the last will and testament, right? See, what's amazing is I love it when the Bible talks. Let's just talk everyday life. Amen? You can just hear the Apostle Paul going, you guys are getting too religious. You guys are getting too weird on me. Let's just keep this real. Let's just apply this to everyday life, right? And then he goes into death. The Holy Spirit showed me. He goes into death among them about, let's talk about and testament. Let's talk about a covenant made between people, Right? See, if I was to leave a last will and testament, when I go, Trish is left with my bills. <laughs> Brother Nick said, hallelujah. <laughs> but in, and I love the laughter, amen. Right? But in all seriousness, seriousness though, when it is written, signed, notarized, right? Nothing can come against that because it is an agreement. Amen. Amen? You see, God has the same agreement with His beloved church. As you sit here right now in His holy building, we have a name for it. It's called Open Arms Community Church. Amen. And for our visitors today, praise God. For our visitors today, listen, beloved church family, let's welcome them the way we know how. Amen? On the count of three. One, two, three. We want to say welcome home. We've been praying for you. God is legend. Praise God. We wish it was under different circumstances because everyone will be hugging on you and loving on you. Amen. Amen. But guess what? We serve a big God. Amen. And the reason why we stay true and we listen to what they put in place is because we submit to God our Father. Amen. Amen. We don't come against who God put in place in order, in authority, right? right. But when you talk about God's will, this is what Holy Spirit wanted me to share with you, and we're going to close. I am thankful for Lord Jesus Christ and all that Father God has done for me. This is God's will for your life. Come on. Say with me, this is, this is God's, will. God's will. How many of you are truly thankful that Lord Jesus Christ died for you? Now we have to keep in mind, when you say that you are thankful that Lord Jesus Christ died for you, here is the breakthrough, and this is the beginning of impartation of the Holy Spirit in your life. Are you listening? Are you listening? Some of you can feel it right now. This is the beginning of impartation Amen. of the Holy Spirit in your life, but you have to get this part. Many of you, if not all of you, said, I'm thankful Lord Jesus Christ died for me. I'm thankful He is my Lord and my Savior. Amen? Amen. But hear what I'm saying right now. In order for this impartation,
impartation to take place in your life and the anointing Holy Spirit to come upon you, you have to die in Christ. Come on. Can I get an amen? amen. Now, I'm not teasing. I'm going to look down when I say this. I'm not teasing anybody, but there's some of you that said, what did you just say? <laughs> I've received Jesus. Is, is that what he's talking about? Partially, yes. Partially, yes. That is what I'm talking about. Notice I said partially. That's a bold statement, right? Because many of you are in there. You're coming against my salvation. I'm not coming against anything but the devil. I'm coming against the devil in Jesus' name. I'm rebuking Satan in Jesus' name. Amen? Because see, even the devils in hell know who Jesus is. Am I, am I talking to you right now? Every demon knows who Jesus Christ is. So don't get religious with me. I am asking you as a child of God, you call upon Lord Jesus Christ, but have you, say with me, me, have you died in Christ? Meaning, have you completely surrendered your life over and said, Father God, I am no longer my own. I belong to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Because I know who Jesus is, but I'll live any way I want to. Or are you going to be a beloved child of God and say, Father, I know the price that was paid. I know as a good father how it paid you that your perfect son, your only son, left you to come here to save me. And Lord Jesus, I know how much you love me because you did everything in perfection as the Father said you would because you are the Word of God and you did it in perfection but yet you still looked at me with your eyes of mercy and your grace and you forgave me and you said, you, you said I love you and just give it to me. And when you know Christ, beloved children, listen, glory to God, you got it glowing. Hallelujah. Oh my goodness, so blessed, so anointed. When you know that this is the case, that there's this man named Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, God Himself, on the cross, because God loves you. God doesn't want anything bad to happen to you. Amen. This is the beginning, say it with me, of impartation. Amen. 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 So God's will is, we just covered it. Do you know that it was God's will? That you're not an accident. Amen. There's some of you that heard that in your life. You are a masterpiece of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you know that it's God's will that for the Savior to come to this world and to show this world who God truly is? Amen. You see, we, we transition. Before Christ, the world thought God was a And guess what? Religious people who were anybody in religion, they were like that too. Crunchy. Just crunchy, right? Look what you did wrong. You broke this law. You're not worthy. Look at you. Now go make a sacrifice. And here comes God's sacrifice. Say to me, God's sacrifice. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. And for Lord Jesus Christ to be wrapped in this skin, to walk this earth and to share with the whole world, you don't know God like I know God. Because God is my Father. And He loves me. And I don't look at any sins because I'm going to take all the sins of this world. Isn't it powerful of our Lord Jesus Christ to say, I don't look at any of your sins. You know why? Because it's mine. Can I repeat that? Please. You have no right to look at your sins because it belongs to Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Amen. Stop focusing on your shortcomings. Amen. 
Stop focusing on the zit on your face. You're beautiful. Amen. <laughs> you focus on that zit for tomorrow. You start thinking you're ugly. You're not ugly. Say with me, I am beautiful. I am beautiful. You can always choose to be thankful for something in your life. Hallelujah. God is asking you, will you start today? Will you start to be thankful for something? You be thankful. Well, Brother Joe, you just don't know where I come from. Be thankful. Amen. Well, you just don't know what I don't got. Be thankful for what you do got. Come on. Amen. Amen. This was God's will. God's will is that you would take it to the cross. That you would give it to Lord Jesus Christ. That you would give God your soul, your spirit, your body. Will you give that to God today? You see, for, for those of you who are planted here in God's holy church, we worship God with everything that we have. It doesn't matter if it's Sunday, it doesn't matter if it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday. Yes, your church has four. We never spent four worship service every, and we would do, we did at 1.7 days a week. I'm not boasting on anybody here, I'm boasting on my Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He is worthy. He is worthy. Look at this, look at the screen. Don't even look at me. Look at the screen. Some of you are having trouble looking at that screen. Right there, God says that's where He wants you. The reason why God wants this ingrained in your mind, in your spirit, in your body is because God wants you to know your value. Amen. Amen. Your value is not in a relationship. Your value is not in an experience. Your value is not in your income. Your value is not in what you have in your life. Your value is not your skin color. Your value is none of this stuff. Your value is in Jesus Christ as Lord. Hallelujah. That's your value. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before I got saved, my value was in what Trish thought of me. Come on. Oh, that got through some people, huh? My value was in my marriage. My value was in the career. My value was in things. And doesn't that sound just like the devil? Because guess what? Any one of those things, the devil can steal, kill, and destroy. Amen. But when you say enough is enough. Amen. Come on now, church. Help me out now. When you say enough is enough, my value is not in anything but my Lord Jesus Christ. Guess what? How did it? The devil. Come on now. The devil himself says, I can't touch you. The devil himself says, I can't, I can't mess with you. Hallelujah. We're going to go over the last part. Say with me, God's testament. God's testament is simply this. I am a member of the body of Christ. Holy Spirit lives in me for all of eternity. So if you want the supporting scriptures on this, uh, the first one is 1 Thessalonians 5, read verse 16 through 18. And then the second part is in the book of uh, 2 Corinthians, I believe, in 3... 16, if I'm not mistaken. Thank you. Huh? Thank you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, sis. I am a member of the body. So this is God's will and God's testament for you and how He wants to leave us today with a fresh impartation of the Holy Spirit. It's God's will for every soul on this fallen world. It's God's will to receive His offering. Yes. Amen. To receive this one perfect man, his name is Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. My question to you today, and, I, and this is bold. I know we got some visitors here, but guess what? In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, I don't care. We're family. Amen? Amen. I'm not going to treat you any different because this is your first time here. Don't be mad at me. 
But I'm going to ask you, if you have received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I'm going to ask you to stand up. Only if you truly have received Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. Because you're making, listen, as you stand up in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, you're standing up for God. Amen. Amen. You're standing up for agape. Amen. And you're standing up because as you stand, Holy Spirit's going to break chains off of you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Say this with me, I am, I am never, never alone. alone. Beloved church family, we are the body of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So don't ever, don't ever let the devil make you feel like you're alone in this world. You are surrounded by family. Amen. I know some of you are like, I don't know you. Well, guess what? I don't know you too, but we're family. Amen. And all you gotta do is ask, and guess what? Try me. All you gotta do is ask. And in Jesus' name, we are there. Amen. But I'm going to ask you the second part for God's testimony. And for those of you, for those of you who are living God's testimony, because remember, His testimony comes from the blood of the Lamb and the power of His testimony. What is the power? It's that resurrection power. His name is Holy Spirit. Amen. So I'm going to ask you, I know this sounds weird, but Holy Spirit said do it, we're going to do it. If you have Holy Spirit in your life and you know that Jesus Christ is your Lord and you have received the impartation of Holy Spirit in you, put your hand over your chest. The Holy Spirit lives in you for all of eternity. And then nothing can take that away from you. Nothing can touch your eternal breath in Jesus' name. I'm going to ask you to sit down. For those of you who have Holy Spirit, if you don't, stand up. Glory to God. See, the beauty is you're not doing this for a preacher. You're doing this for God Almighty. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Let's give God praise. Amen. amen. God's will and God's testimony, you are the living gospel. Amen. You are. Say with me, I am. I am. Say with me, I am. I am. The inheritance. I am, I am impartation. impartation. So the beauty of the anointing Holy Spirit through you in your life is that everybody that you know, yeah, handsome, I'm looking at you. Say with me, I am handsome. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise I love a brother like that. He said, he said it quick. He didn't think about it. He said, I know, brother, amen. How many of you know that you are blessed? Hallelujah. Say with me, I am blessed. God Almighty. Amen? Amen? This social distancing. But guess what? God don't do social distancing. Hallelujah! Praise God! Hallelujah! Praise God! Amen? Amen. Amen. So regardless how this world is acting, I'm going to charge God's holy church. I'm charging every one of you. Pray. Pray. Amen? Pray for your children. Children, pray for your mommy, your daddy. Pray for your family. Amen? Listen, you may have some crunchy uncles and aunties. Pray for them. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Listen, when the enemy puts thought of somebody in your mind and you get crunchy about it, bless them. Amen. 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 Pray for them. Don't be like the world does and start getting angry with unforgiveness. Rebuke them in Jesus' name. Because it's the devil trying to steal a blessing. Yeah. So when you think about somebody who did you wrong, switch it up. Amen. Switch it up. Father, I thank you for this person. Yeah. What used to torment me and bring me bring me down, I want to thank you for them, Father. Amen. Because right now the enemy used this as a distraction, but I want to turn it for your glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. I want to turn it for your glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen, it could be a pet. It could be an ex-wife, ex-husband, ex-girlfriend, ex-boyfriend. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm asking you in the name of Jesus, will you pray for them? Amen. Because nothing good comes out of harboring unforgiveness. You know what that is? Yes. It's bad. And in 
the name of Lord Jesus Christ, God is saying, get rid of him. Amen? Amen. 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 Say it with me. Inheritance. Inheritance. Impartation. 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 Now in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, I know, I know what we have to follow. And I submit to pastor, I submit to the elders. But I do have a song that I want to play. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. And I, I'm thankful because I can hear the elders say yes, yes, amen. Now, listen, beloved church family. This is all for God, amen. amen. So whether you're there at your seat, I encourage you, just be obedient. If you want to drop to your knees and pray, pray. But we're going to play this one song, yeah, just this one song. The Holy Spirit wants to bless you with a fresh anointing. Say that with me, fresh anointing. Fresh anointing. Power. Power. Hallelujah. God wants to bless you. If you're in a relationship right now that you feel that it's just stale, I'm going to tell you right now, that's not God. God wants to light a fire, a farm. Say it again, farm. God wants to light a farm in your relationship. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. God wants to bless you with an abundant marriage. Amen? Amen. If your boyfriend and girlfriend, oh, I'm so excited for you guys. Boyfriend, girlfriends, how many boyfriend and girlfriends we have here? Hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, see, Pastor, gosh, that blesses God. Amen. That, it's that fresh, right? That fresh one, fresh one. I'm going to tell you right now. There ain't nothing like it. I, I just love watching um, either newlyweds or girlfriends. I love watching couples where they just can't stop holding each other's hand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they, they, they just... See, that's how we're supposed to be with God. Amen. 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 But notice what the enemy does. The enemy tries to creep in your relationships in the physical yeah. so that you will detach from your anointing Holy yeah. Spirit. Amen. 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 So in this next song, I'm asking all of us, will we get right with the Lord? Pastor, are you saying that I'm not living right? I'm not saying that. Right? I'm not saying that. Every one of us can pray. Do you agree? Every one of us can get out of religion and say, you know what, Father? Here I am. Amen. Here I am. Say that with me, church. Here I am. Here I am. Hallelujah, right, stand up with me, we're going to, I know Brother Charlie's going to come up here in a minute after the song, the Holy Spirit just charged me to say a prayer over you all, and just receive it in Jesus' name, and we're going to play this song, amen. If you want to come to the altar, I have many of you ask, if you want to come to the altar, yes, please come, if you do, please come, but just try to maintain the distancing, just because of the fact that we're being submissive, we're being obedient. Amen. Say it with me, be obedient. Be obedient. Listen, I receive that, amen, I need to be obedient, amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, our identity, our agape, Lord Jesus, is all because of you. That in this worship, Father, you taught us that your order, your word, always comes back. And it comes back to the fullest measure. And Father, you spoke your word into existence. Amen. And your word is Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, thank you for leaving heaven to come here to save us. That you left perfection where we all are, where we're all going to be, Father. That you would leave that place. You would leave the Father and say, Father, I'll be back. And Father, in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, we feel your Holy Spirit. Your Holy Spirit is in the inside of every one of us. And Heavenly Father, I pray that your holy church bless you today, Father, in everything. Father, we are not worthy. Only you, Lord Jesus Christ, is worthy. And Father God, we're so thankful. We're so thankful for your blood that covers us. We thank you, Father God, that you shielded us. And we thank you, Father God, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. So Father, in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, as we play this next song that you wanted played, Father. Father, I just thank you for an impartation like waves of the ocean that flooded your beloved church. Every soul, Father God, that your presence would flow through them. And it's in Jesus Christ's mighty name and all God's beloved said. Hey.